Hey guys, just a midweek video uh, showing you how we built this Tigger Eye Organizer. Alright, so this is a look at the <laughs> big mess here. Um, and one of the main contributors or main issues I have is all these TIG welding rod tubes that are just stacked in there. Uh, the clamps I could do something with and clean up, but those rods just every time I grab them they or move anything they they come sliding all off and knock other stuff off and half of them are broke in the middle of the tube so you can't pick it up from the top so we're gonna use these rod guard uh, tubes and uh, we'll get set up and show you how we're gonna build this all right so this is gonna be a pretty simple project we're gonna use some uh, aluminum bar stock here this is one inch thick by two and a half inches wide and I originally bought this to make a sign for the Shut Your Face Garage crew. And this is what I had left over. So we're gonna use a little bit of this. Um, and we're just gonna make a holder out of it. And uh, this tube is, uh, let's take a look here, two inches wide. So we're gonna need to put some two inch holes in it. Um, and then we're gonna make a bracket and weld to it probably out of some 3 8 inch. And that'll give us a chance to use our 50-50 uh, mix, uh, bottle mix that we've got, argon and helium that I recently got that I haven't used yet. Been waiting for the right project where I needed to weld some thick aluminum. Uh, so, yeah, so anyway, um, what I want to do is try to get a feel for what the placement needs to look like. We get a couple of these out and see how far apart it feels about right. See, I mean that allows pretty good clearance all around it. Maybe a little bit further apart. Let's see what that is. Yeah, it's about four inches apart or so from center to center. So I think we'll just go with that. And so we're going to cut a piece of this off, put put four holes in it, make a bracket weld to the back of it and have mounting holes in that so we can attach it to the welding cart. So we'll go ahead and get started.
All right, well, I don't know if you could see too good with uh, looking over my shoulder there. <clears throat> I had to do what I had to do to get in there. Um, I guess the 50-50 helium mix that I used for this did a nice job. I was able to actually quickly get it to puddle up and fuse and uh, just dab in some filler rod, 332nd tungsten, 332nd filler rod. Um, this is by far the thickest I've been able to weld and actually get it to flow and get it to go. But you see it's got a lot of sooty black stuff on there. Uh, I think it's just from having the, the 
helium mix, you know, and instead of the straight argon. I'm going to just clean it up real quick and see what it looks like. Pretty happy with that, you know, it's not the prettiest looking weld in the world, but, um, you know, for one inch thick welded to a three eighths plate, um, that'll work. I had one little mess up when I was trying to get the tack there that didn't fuse very well, but um, I'll clean that off and we'll get it bolted on and get our rods organized. Okay, got it all finished up, and uh, I want to give a mention to eFormats. Uh, he sent me a picture of these rod guards, tubes, and then another guy, gosh, I cannot think of his name, emailed me. Oh, I have to look his name up. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, also about these rod guard tubes. They're like 13 bucks a piece, so uh, well worth it. Um, overbuilt, you know, one-inch aluminum caddy, uh, but... It was fun to weld it and to get a nice good penetration on that 50-50 mix on helium and argon. Uh, we got it all set up in here. So this is our uh, our ER70 S6 or S2 for mild steel and we've got uh, 3 32nd, 8th inch and 6 1 16th in there. And I put these little set screws in there to just bump up against the tube to keep them from moving around. Uh, this is aluminum, also 1 16th. Uh, this is 4043. 1 16th, 3 32nd, and 1 8th rod in there. And then this is silicon bronze. You see, I don't really have a lot of that. I've got some 8th uh, inch, a stick or two of 3 32nd, and a couple of 1 16th. I don't really use it too much every now and then. And then that is some 308 stainless. 1 16th, that's all I have in stainless. All right, that'll wrap it up. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little midweek simple video, simple project. It was fun to make. Hope you had fun watching it. Talk to you soon.